In chapter 28 of Northanger Abbey, General Tilney goes to London for a week. His absence and the easing of the household schedule leaves Eleanor, Henry, and Catherine in light spirits. And then Henry departs for Woodston. During this time, Catherine notices how long she's been there, four weeks, as a guest, and suggests leaving so as not to take advantage of their hospitality. Mm -mm. Eleanor Tilney presses her to stay longer, and they both are relieved by this plan. They're disturbed late at night by an arrival Catherine expects to be Captain Frederick Tilney. When Eleanor comes to Catherine's room, she discovers it's actually General Tilney. Eleanor reveals they have an engagement that the general has just recalled and must depart. Further, Catherine must return home to Fullerton immediately. She asks if she's offended the general, and she is given no information. She rests poorly and the next morning rises to pack and depart. Eleanor comes to help and she requests to hear from Catherine. In continued haste, Catherine is made to exit and she leaves a goodbye message for Henry and Eleanor. Both Catherine Moreland's willingness to leave before she imposes and the Tilney children's desire that she stay are brought into stark contrast with General Tilney's actions. His return from London and what happened there prompts a marked change in his attitude toward Catherine. But what? In the context of the focus on money and marriage, which has been in the background of the recent chapters as well as every discussion of marriage in the novel, it's no great leap to assume the information is financial. Earlier, Catherine has suspected General Tilney of villainous deeds with no basis in fact. However, his character in relation to his children has shown him as controlling with regard to Henry, readying his home for them and in ordering his children to entertain Catherine, obsessed with punctuality, insulting, especially to Captain Frederick Tilney, and cruel both to Eleanor Tilney and Catherine. There were other hints his character is stone cold. However, none of this was as apparent to innocent Catherine because of his kindness to her. Compared to Isabella, the ongoing character flaws Catherine dismissed were more difficult to acknowledge because Isabella has been, and still continues, to be kind to Catherine. She's lied to her, but she hasn't been objectively cruel. Thank you.